In this video, I'm going to give you instructions on how to unlock a Rogers Nokia 7020. The first step to unlock your Nokia phone is you're going to need to switch this phone on without a SIM card in it. So once you have the phone powered on without a SIM card in it, we're going to go through a series of instructions here. And this might be a little bit tricky, but just stay with me. Uh, it's not that complicated once you get it. So what you got to realize is on the phone, first of all, there is a... Uh, I'm going to put up a legend here just so you know what each one uh, means so when you take the um, star button and you actually press it three times you're gonna get a P when you press it four times you're gonna get W and we only press it twice you're gonna get a plus sign so that's important to understand in order for us to go through the unlock process here uh, so practice with your phone first and make sure that you know how to get the P the W and the plus sign uh, and if not, our support team will definitely help you out. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to enter into the code. Uh, I'll assume you have your unlock code. If you don't have your unlock code, go to globalunlock.com. I'll include a link below and get your unlock code. You're going to need to have that unlock code. Now, one thing, don't use uh, another unlock code or someone else's unlock code. Because Nokia phones have limited attempts on them. Once you've actually done it a certain number of times, uh, which could be as little as three times, you may hard lock your phone and not be able to unlock it again. So it's very important that you actually get the correct unlock code for your phone. Uh, if you have actually tried to unlock it before unsuccessfully, uh, and then you do go to Global Unlock, let us know ahead of time before you do it, and we'll let you know if it is possible or not. Because we don't want you to try to do it and then it not work even if you have the right information because you've tried too many times. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to now, using the legend that I've just explained to you, enter in number sign PW plus unlock code plus seven number sign. Now, if you're rejected with the um, seven number sign at the end of it, substitute it with a five and again substitute it with a three. Now, don't do it more than two or three times uh, on the phone. And once you've entered that unlock code successfully, you will get a restriction removed or some, something similar to that message on your phone. So again, there are free services online. Um, just be very careful that you don't hard lock your phone. To get the right unlock code, go to the link below and you will get the right Nokia unlock code to unlock your phone. Now I'm going to share with you a couple testimonials from Global Unlock customers. I'm Nick Riccardi. And I'm Rob Riccardi. And we're from Providence, Rhode Island. And uh, I have a Blackberry. And I have a Blackjack. And we recently switched to T-Mobile. And our phones, which are from AT&T, did not work for that. So we went to globalunlock.com. We got our codes. We typed them in. And now it works great. So thanks a lot. And keep up the good work. Thank you. Hi, my name is Amanda. I'm from Long Island, New York. And I unlocked my phone with... Global Unlock, I have a BlackBerry Pearl A120, which is with T-Mobile, um, and I want to use an AT&T SIM card on it, um, so I placed an order in on Saturday night, and it, they said it would come within one to three days, and it came first thing on Monday. I got the email with the code and video and instructions, and they made it really easy to unlock my phone, and I would definitely use their service again.